to begin with, I had a typo. The instructions should say simplify each expression. Today we're looking at how to add fractions that have not a common denominator and they're polynomials. So to begin with, I look into simplifying the bottom if I can. I'm just looking at the denominators. On my first fraction, I can factor to four. So I get x plus two. I look on the top if I could factor anything. That way I could cancel any common factors if possible. In my first fraction, I cannot. Looking at my second fraction, four over two, I can simplify that as two over one. Now yesterday, I introduced the, the term least common denominator. Looking at my denominators, my factors that I have at the bottom are a four, an x plus two, and there's a one, but in multiplication, the one we ignored. So in this case, I'm gonna add my fractions, I'm gonna combine it into one fraction, and my denominator will be a four and an x plus two. All right, I take a look at my first fraction. I look at the denominator and I say, well, for my least common denominator, I don't need to add anything. I have four and x plus two, so I'm gonna leave the top alone. So I'm gonna call this five x minus four. I'm leaving the top of my first fraction alone. Now, from my second fraction, for when I look at my least common denominator and look at my, my factors from the denominator, I need to multiply this by 4. I need to multiply this by x plus 2. So I'm, I'm going to multiply 2 times 4 times x plus 2. When I have three parentheses, I deal with two of them at a time. So let me multiply the first two. So it's going to give me 8 times x plus 2. So that's going to give me plus 8x plus 16. All right, I distribute the 8. Now, on the top, let me combine any like terms. When I combine the x's, that's going to give me 13x plus 12 over 4 x plus 2. If I could factor anything and to cancel common factors, I will do so. In this case, I cannot. So that's my answer. Now, how am I going to type this? Inside parentheses, I'm going to write 13x plus 12. That's for the top, which is over. Now, at the bottom, inside parentheses, so notice I did my big parentheses, inside the parentheses, I'm going to put a parentheses with a 4, and that's a factor, and another parentheses with x plus 2. There's no spaces. It's all together. Let me bring that closer. There's no spaces. All right, let's take a look at number 6. Let me Looking at the denominators, let me factor what I can from the bottom. I can factor a 2. That gives me x minus 3. There's nothing I can cancel, so my least common denominator. When it comes to numbers, I'm just going to call that 6. The 2 and the 3, they both combine into a 6 when it comes to numbers. And then I also have an x minus 3. All right, so now I take a look at the top of my fraction, and I say, well, for my least common denominator, it seems like I'm missing a 3. So I'm going to multiply the top by 3. On my second fraction, my least common denominator, if I want a 3 to become my least common denominator, I have to multiply that by 2. And then I have to multiply that with x minus 3. And my least common denominator, I'm going to use it. Because that becomes the, the denominator of my fraction. All right, let's take a look. My first fraction, 3 times 5, that gives me 15. On the second fraction, I have three parentheses to multiply. Let me multiply the first two. 4x times 2, that's going to give me 8x. And I'm going to multiply this with x minus 3. Remember, when we multiply, we distribute. So that's going to give me plus 8x to the second 
minus 24x. So let me just go 8x to the second minus 24x plus 15th over 6x minus 3. Cancel any common factors if possible. Now, when it comes to whole numbers, this 6, I could simplify it. I could divide it as long as I can divide all of these numbers, all of them, by the same thing. In this case, I cannot, right? Some of them I can divide by 2, but not all of them. Some of them I can divide by 3, but not all of them. So I cannot simplify anymore. Now, the way I will type this, on the top I have 8x to the second minus 24x plus 15th over. Now, at the bottom, I'm going to put a 6 inside parentheses. I'm going to put the x minus 3 inside its own parentheses. There's no spaces. It's all together. Let's take a look at question number 7. My first fraction, you know, I cannot factor anymore. However, the 6 over 2, that becomes a 3 on the top, right? 6 divided by 2. When I look at my second fraction, I can factor it at 3x. So it's going to give me 3x minus 2. Nothing I can cancel. So just looking at the denominators. When I look at this first two, looking at my least common denominator, if I combine them, I'm going to combine it as 3x. Notice the x, I just wrote them once. And then I'm also going to have our 3x minus 2 from the other parentheses. So my denominator is going to be 3x and 3x minus 2. All right. Looking at the first fraction, if I want x to become my least common denominator, I have to multiply by 3, right? That becomes 3x. That's how I get the outside. I must also multiply this with 3x minus 2. And then obviously the 3 that is on the top. I must multiply all of them. So let me multiply two parentheses. Let me bring this 3 actually to the top here. That way we have them all together. So the first three is the three that was up there to begin with. And then the second three, because I said in order for 3x for my LCD, in order for in order for me to get 3x, I already have an x, just multiply by 3. And the 3x minus 2 is from the parentheses that I have. So let me multiply my first two parentheses, not 3 times 3. When I multiply this with 3x minus 2, that's going to give me 27x minus 18. Now looking at my second fraction, my LCD and my denominator and that fraction looks exactly alike. So I don't have to do anything to the top. So let me just write that as plus x minus 4. I don't have to do anything on the top. Let me simplify what I can. The top at the bottom, I just have a 3x and 3x minus 2. Now, looking on the top, let me combine my like terms. So it's going to give me 28x minus 22. Nothing I can do. So that's basically it. The way I will type this will be 28x minus 22, all of it inside parentheses, over. Now, do notice that my denominator has two parentheses. So I'm going to put 3x inside parentheses and 3x minus 2 inside parentheses. No spaces. All right, let's take a look at question number 8. I can see that on my denominator on the first one, I can divide each by 3. So that gives me the n plus 2. Nothing that I can cancel with the top. Now, the bottom of my second parentheses, I 
cannot factor anymore. Nothing I can cancel on the top. So let's see, my least common denominator, I'm looking at the factors of the bottom that n plus 3 I'm gonna call all a factor. So I need a three, I need an n plus two, and I need an n plus three. That's my least common denominator. So looking at the first fraction, I'm, I see my LCD and I say, well, from the factors that I need, it seems like I'm missing the n plus three. So I'm gonna multiply the top by n plus three. Looking at my second fraction, for my LCD, it seems like I'm missing the three and I'm missing the N plus two. When I write my fraction, I know my denominator, I'm gonna have a three, an N plus two, and an N plus three. So looking on the first fraction, multiplied four N with N plus three. I'm gonna do distributed. It's gonna give me four n to the second plus 12 n. Now looking at my second fraction, let me combine five times three first. And I'm gonna multiply this with n plus two. Use this derivative property, so it's gonna give me plus 15 n plus 30. So when I'm looking at this, the denominator, I'm just gonna copy it. Three, n plus two, n plus three. On the top, let me combine my like terms. So I have four n to the second plus 27 n plus 30. If I could factor to cancel things out, I could, but in this case, I cannot. So that's my answer. The way I'm gonna type this in will be four n to the second, all of inside parentheses, plus 27n plus 30. So that's what I have on the top. Over, now in here, make sure you use your parentheses. I'm gonna put a three. I'm gonna put the n plus two, and I'm, put, I'm gonna write the n plus three. So that's how we add fractions.